Every business wants good customer reviews. Every customer wants a good experience. So what happens when both sides click? Or in some cases, when they don't? From Yelp and Entrepreneur Media, this is Behind the Review. I'm Emily Washkovic, Yelp small business expert. Behind the Review features conversations with business owners and customers who wrote one of their Yelp reviews. In our discussions, we talk about lessons they've learned that can be used by other businesses to improve their own reviews and their bottom line. This week, I'm talking to Alessandro Ferruccio, co-owner and general manager of Il Canale a family-owned Italian restaurant in the heart of Georgetown. El Canale has been named on Yelp's top 100 lists every year for the past three years. This year, they earned the number 14 spot on the top 100 pizza places in the U.S. list. The restaurant's friendly atmosphere and delicious recipes have been drawing in thousands of D.C. locals and tourists since 2010. We'll also hear from reviewer Sydney G, a Yelp community manager based in Washington, D.C. Sydney is an expert in finding and engaging with local restaurants on Yelp, which is how she found Il Canale. I first discovered Il Canale because we were going to see a show at the Kennedy Center and we were looking for a restaurant that was nearby that we could go to eat at that was walkable but still delicious. And we did a Yelp search and we found El Canale and they have a yoki dish for two. And we were two people going to split food for dinner. And so it, all the stars aligned and it was perfection. Sydney's experience lived up to El Canale's excellent Yelp reputation. The restaurant has a 4.3 star average with over 4,000 reviews. Let's give her review a listen. Came here with a friend before seeing a movie at the AMC down the street and was pleasantly surprised. We got the focaccia bread, which is like thin pizza crust with lots of olive oil and herbs, and it was so tasty. Note that they also give you free bread with your meal as well. We were in bread heaven. For dinner, we split the goat cheese salad and the cheesy gnocchi for two, and it fed us both with lots of leftovers to spare. The gnocchi are perfectly pillowy and cheesy. I see why they're so popular on Yelp. The salad was great as well. I loved the combo of goat cheese, toasted walnuts, and apricots. For dessert, we had a bit of a snafu. We ordered one dessert and they brought us a different one, but we didn't realize that it was the wrong one until the bill came. We didn't want to make a big deal, but it was kind of a bummer. The one they ended up bringing us was the Italian tres leches, which was just okay. The review we just heard is from 2019. Sydney has since become an Il Canale regular. The restaurant is one of her go-to dining spots in Georgetown. What keeps her coming back? The food and service are always top-notch. Consistency is an important part of turning one-time visitors into loyal customers. The gnocchi that I mentioned in my review from 2019 is still my go-to dish that I get every single time. I believe that they have like a version where you can get it for two or for four. So sometimes, you know, we go with a big group and we just get this giant pot of gnocchi to share with the whole table and it's great you get some really epic cheese pulls but um, each one is just so delicious little pillows a flavor and they're so good and you know growing up my mom is Italian and so it does feel like it gives me that flavor of her home cooking and every time it hits the mark you know they're great with service the food is exactly what I want it to be so yeah it's just always a reliable spot to go to. Consistent delivery comes from knowing your product top to bottom. Alessandro's family has been perfecting their pizza-making skills since his father immigrated from Italy 45 years ago. Let's hear about how the family got situated in the restaurant industry. I'm first-generation Italian-American. My father immigrated from Sicily in, in the 1970s when he was 17 years old with his parents. And obviously, at that age, the interest was more to find a way to help support the family. You know, coming as an immigrant, you know, not speaking the, the language, he didn't have an interest to, to continue schooling, despite what his parents were 
asking him to do. He wanted to find a way to help support the family. So one of the first jobs he got in New York was working in a pizza shop. And, you know, after some time there, there would always be guests coming in from out of town saying, oh, wow, like this style of pizza, we don't have it where I'm from. Definitely, if you uh, made this pizza where I live, like it would be a huge success. So over time, you know, after hearing that many times and seeing that he had an eye on what he was doing, he knew he could do it well. He took the risk to come down to originally Woodbridge, Virginia, in the north, and to start a business and, and see how it went. That was, yeah, over 45 years ago. So Il Canale opened in 2010, but our family has been in the restaurant business in the Northern Virginia area for over 40 years. So before we started Il Canale, we were doing New York style pizza in Northern Virginia. We had a more like Italian American type of restaurant. We had a big lunch buffet. So it was a totally different concept. Over time, my father said he wanted to make the best pizza in the world. And that is obviously the Neapolitan style pizza because it's the, the original, you know, it's where the pizza started. So he started to learn about it, research about it, got very curious and had an opportunity to open a restaurant here in Georgetown. And we've been here since. With their eyes on the prize of making the best pizza in the world, Alessandro and his family knew the key to success was the quality of their food. They prioritize sourcing high-quality ingredients from Italy to make their culinary experience as authentic as possible. Our philosophy to, for our menu and our restaurant is to provide the most value and authentic experience to our guests as possible. So with that comes to having honest menu pricing, the best possible ingredients we can source, but still keep within a nice uh, price point. When it comes to our pizza, we're not satisfied just to do the minimum. So the Neapolitan style pizza requires three main ingredients, the zero zero flour, the San Marzano tomato sauce, and the mozzarella. So just from the zero zero flour, we don't hold back. We make sure to get an organic zero zero flour. So we want to give a higher quality. And not only that, we, f we, sort we found one that is actually Italian wheat grown in Italy that gets imported. Oftentimes you find that a company gets the wheat from somewhere else, brings it to Italy, puts it in a bag, and then sells it as Italian flour. But ours is, it's 100% Italian source and organic. So we make sure to go a step above on that. The San Marzano tomato sauce, we get it imported. It's local to the Campania region, so we find one that we liked. And then also for the mozzarella. Most restaurants you'll see, they'll use the fior di latte, which is just a natural mozzarella. And then the other cheese you can use is the buffalo mozzarella, which is a higher quality, more specialty, uses the water buffalo milk that's also local to the Napoli area. So we do all of our pizzas with the buffalo mozzarella, which is, it's a higher cost, but it's the flavor that we like and the quality that we like. So uh, just from the scratch, having those three ingredients and doing the best that we can with each of them helps result in, in a good final product. While good food is important, People also come to restaurants for a good time. Fast, accommodating service is another key ingredient to a fantastic dining experience. Being used to serving a large number of guests, Alessandro's kitchen runs quickly and efficiently. We are quite a machine here. We have actually 300 seats inside. And then when we have the outdoor dining, it adds almost another 100 seats. So we are used to doing a big quantity of guests every night. So because of the experience over time, we've also expanded within our uh, restaurant. We started much smaller and then we uh, expanded into our next door address. Over time with that experience, we perfected our kitchen to be super quick and super efficient. Our food comes out in a very efficiently, timely manner that we can meet everybody's requirements. The service at Il Canale was one of the highlights of Sydney's experience. Even though it's a large operation, Il Canale is a down-to-earth, family-owned restaurant at its core. Alessandro and his family make an effort to personally greet their customers and make sure their visit starts off on a positive note. 
they're a family owned business. There's always a member of the family to greet you. A lot of times they have like an outdoor seating section, but there's somebody usually standing at the front door or right inside the door to greet you. I've been for dinner, for lunch, and for happy hour. So I feel like I've gotten a really good experience across the board of the different service options. They do a great job of walking you through the menu. The team of friendly and talented staff play a key role in creating a welcoming restaurant environment. Not only does the Ferrugio family provide their employees with adequate training and resources, but the team benefits from the support of generous guests who help bring the restaurant's community full circle. It's definitely always a cliche to say it, but we just try to keep a family as a team who we are. We try to have a good atmosphere in the restaurant. We try to be supportive. We do a lot of training. It's just, it, that is the biggest challenge is having such a large team and having every single person follow your vision, follow your path, you know, follow the requests that you make. But it's just, you know, providing the tools, providing the resources. And thankfully that we have great locals and regular guests as well that really bless our staff being very generous. They're, you know, tipping that everybody's able to make an income. So one, when the food is very good, and you don't have to do any BS with the guests, you know, you're selling them, you know, you know, everything you, you recommend is going to be good. It makes it easy to work here. And then at the end of the day, you know, thanks to the support of our guests, all of our staff is able to go home and make a nice paycheck and, and support their families. So when you put those two together, the staff is very willing to listen, to learn and, you know, execute the, the ideas. Building an army of staff that he can count on to provide quality service allows Alessandro to take time for himself. Work-life balance is something many business owners struggle with, especially in the restaurant industry. But giving your brain time to rest is crucial for success. It's very difficult. For me personally, work-life balance is something I struggled with because there's just so much to do, so much going on that it's, if you take a few days off, you feel that you're going to be behind. You have to work harder to catch up. But the most important advice you know I can give to somebody is always just find a way to make time for yourself. You always have to disconnect every couple of days just to rest your brain. You know, the brain's a muscle and needs time to relax. So uh, when you're dealing with, at least on our scale, you know, uh, thousands of people a week, sometimes you need to just kind of disconnect and use your day off to just isolate a little bit, reset, recharge, let your brain recover, and then go back again. But also, don't forget that if you are increasing in sales, growing in size, that you need to add some personnel to make up for it. You can't just be going up and adding the same amount of people. You have to go proportionally accordingly. So if you're in a situation where you're getting busy, you're getting more customers, really consider adding somebody because you're going to balance yourself. And when the team as a whole is more relaxed, working healthier. Each individual is working relaxed and healthier. The team as a whole works more relaxed and healthier. One of Il Canale's biggest strengths is its wide appeal. With a large menu of pizzas, pastas, and wines, and plenty of options for guests with dietary restrictions, Il Canale has created a space where everyone can find something they want to eat. You know, we are pizzeria heart, um, but we have a full restaurant around it. So we have a full menu. We have a lot of different offerings that basically anybody can find something they like. And that's why Il Canale is so approachable that we can accommodate all groups. You know, we have a very vast different clientele, tourists, locals, students, offices, politicians, any type of group you can imagine. They come in, they look at our menu, they all find something that they like. Our philosophy has also been, you know, always to adapt to the current trends. Don't fight it. So we find ways that we can be more accommodating to everybody. Yes, we did add the gluten-free pizza and gluten-free pasta a few years ago, and it became a big success. We're a very busy restaurant inside, so we don't make our own gluten-free dough or pasta. We buy it, of course, to keep it safer. We do do a lot of different practices like separate oven or cooking the pasta in separate water. We try to stay as safe as possible. And then, you know, in the end, even though we don't make the dough ourselves, we're putting the best ingredients on top of it. And that, that's how it comes to such a nice final product that we, we're accommodating the gluten-free guests daily. They're always leaving very positive reviews. So we decide if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's nice when you have a big table, a few guests are gluten-free, a few guests are not, maybe vegetarian or vegan. And like I said before, everybody looks on a menu and they find something that they like. 
As El Canale grows on Yelp, the business is gaining rapport with customers as not just a stellar pizzeria, but a full-service Italian restaurant. The next step in the family's menu expansion plan is to cater to guests who come in looking for more than just a good slice of pizza. So the concept of the Vil Canale is very hard to replicate because, like as we said before, we have the pizzeria and then we have the kitchen. So it's really like two restaurants running simultaneously. In terms of expanding, you know, we're happy where we are, but we're expanding in the sense that we're improving our quality. We're offering more choices. For example, we're also pizzeria, but we have an amazing Italian wine list with many different options. So we're expanding more choices, more high-end premium things. Because the history of Il Canale, you know, originally guests would find us on Yelp by searching pizza. But then our names started growing so much that now people are finding us by searching Italian food. So it's also expanding our clientele that we're getting a, a more like general searching of people who would like to eat Italian. So with that, with that in mind, you know, I like to offer more choices because you never know who's going to come in. And so that way, if there's somebody who wants to get a nice premium high-end wine by the glass with, to go with their food, then, you know, they have that choice. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back. You're a growing business, which means you need every spare hour you can find. That's why the most successful growing businesses are working together in Slack. Slack is where work happens with all your people, data, and information in one AI-powered place. Start a call instantly in huddles and ditch cumbersome calendar invites or build an automation with Workflow Builder to take routine tasks off your plate. No coding required. Grow your business in Slack. Visit slack.com to get started. In her time as a community manager, Sydney has visited and worked with many DC restaurants. She recognizes Il Canale's willingness to adapt as a standout feature of their business. When expanding your customer base, it's important to constantly be on the lookout for new and creative ways to engage your customers. One of the things that I think is really cool about Il Canale is that they have such a clear idea of who they are. You know, they're at their core, this family owned business. They are an Italian restaurant. They're very old school, but they use modern techniques. It's a very old school, but fun experience. And so they've stayed really true to who they are, but that doesn't stop them from finding different ways to innovate in terms of marketing or different ways to like get themselves out there in terms of, you know, throwing Yelp events or exploring different things on social media or different ways that they're reaching new consumers because they are in a relatively touristy area of town, but they don't want to just rely on tourist business. They really also want to appeal to locals to come. And so they explore different avenues of ways to reach people and they're not afraid to try different things and experiment with ways of reaching people. And I know that they use a few different Yelp advertising platforms. They also do a lot of fun things on social media. They've done collaborations with us in terms of events and part of Yelp campaigns, but they also are just like really great about having conversations with people who stop by. And so I think the idea is just like one of the ways that you stay successful is to just never stop innovating and trying new things. And even if it doesn't work, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't, you know, try something else because you never know what it is that's going to reach somebody and really change their mind and, and reach their heart and get them to come in and make a difference. One of the promotional tools that they found success with is Yelp Connect. By sharing custom posts and photos with diners through the app, Alessandro uses Yelp to tell the story of Il Canale and turn local users into regulars or just remind them to come back in for another meal. We know that when we post something on Yelp, when we do the Connect post, we attract more of the local area and maybe people that are maybe a few miles away from the city center so it gets their, their attention to you know spread the search around but we want to have everybody try our food we're not shy about it we want to we do believe we offer the best product possible so we want to get our name around and and make sure that we can you know keep growing our our, our customer base sydney also believes in the value of yelp as a tool for consumers and business owners to communicate and she urges customers to share their experiences on the platform. 
even when a business has thousands of reviews like El Canal. Adding your voice to the conversation helps give the owner and other guests the most up-to-date information on the customer experience. I think that it's really important to share your experience. I don't think it matters how many reviews a business has. Like your opinion really does matter. And, you know, things change over year, over the years. Businesses evolve. Menu items change. A server's turnover, especially like how things worked pre-pandemic to now. And so you really want to make sure that you're giving people the most up-to-date um, information based on your experience. And this is actually a really good reminder to myself too, to like go back since I've been there many times since 2019, which is when I wrote the review, to update my experience because it's been very different from the last time I've explored more of the menu. I have more thoughts to share. Obviously, I'm on this podcast. And so I think that it's really important to share your opinion because even if, you know, however many other people have already written something, everything that you add to the conversation and to the discourse is really helping the business in the long run. And also letting your voice be heard is always important. As a Yelp elite, Sydney is a review pro. Using Yelp as a tool to not only engage with businesses, but create a record of her favorite restaurants. Let's hear how she navigates the review process. I check in pretty much everywhere I go on Yelp because I like having a record of places that I go. Also, I, like a lot of adults in America, have ADHD. And so having it written down is really important because otherwise, if it's out of sight, it's very much out of mind for me. So usually whenever I leave a place, I'll write a couple of notes about what the dishes were that I ate. Or I take a lot of photos, too, that help me like keep a record. I generally like to keep things really positive. So I like to review places that I have a really good experience at. So if I have a really negative experience, a lot of times I'm not going to write about it unless I feel like it can really benefit the business or benefit other consumers. But I also like to give people the benefit of the doubt, especially if it's a service issue, because people are human and everybody has a bad day. I take lots of photos. I take pictures of the menu because a lot of times I found that the menu that you have in the restaurant is maybe different than what's online. And so that's a good way to keep track of exactly what you've eaten. One of the toughest considerations for many consumers is whether to say something about a minor mix-up. While Sydney mentioned the dessert snafu in her review, she chose not to bring it up to the Il Canale staff. While it can feel unnecessary to bring up a concern that didn't majorly impact your experience, in-the-moment feedback gives business owners an important opportunity to make things right with consumers when they maybe miss the mark. I'm a person that does not really like to bring stuff up in restaurants just because I have worked with them so much that I know everything that goes along with it. And unless it's something like really egregious, I'm usually just going to let it slide, especially with the dessert thing that in the grand scheme of things is really not that big of a deal. I didn't really have that much invested in going going into it. But yeah, I, I think looking back, I, I do kind of wish that I had given them a chance to rectify the situation just to see how, how they would have dealt with it. And having been back so many times and dealing with them from a community standpoint, like I know the way that they take service so seriously that I know that they would have rectified it and made it right with us. And so I kind of robbed them of that opportunity by not saying something. People are human and there's plenty of ways to bring it up without being you know rude and give them the opportunity to fix it so that everybody walks away having a positive experience. But yeah, just knowing the way that they run their business and them taking service so seriously, I think that they definitely would have. Alessandro always appreciates the opportunity to make it right with customers whether that's in the middle of a dining experience or in a review response. He reads Yelp reviews to keep a pulse on his business, using critical feedback to improve operations, and positive feedback to give him an extra surge of confidence on a busy night. We definitely use Yelp as uh, our main like a uh, basemark. Whenever guests ask like, where to review us, we always recommend to use Yelp. So, you know, we're very proud that we have the four and a half stars with over 4,000 reviews. We do always appreciate to hear guest feedback. Of course, we, we do try to check in on the spot too, to make sure we know what's going on. It's not always that we just go through the night and then, you know, wait to see what comes. We're always checking in with our guests. It, it's very fun for us because we don't tell our staff to go to every table and say, hey, leave us a review after you leave. Despite having so many reviews, guests are still reviewing on their own. 
Uh, you know, I have the Yelp business app on my phone. So I get push notifications whenever I get a review. So it's like, you know, just hanging out and then review pops up. Thankfully, most of the time they are on the five star level. Uh, so it is a nice confidence boost when I'm going throughout my day. But of course, occasionally something pops up. We analyze it, we review it, we check, uh, try to you know see what happened, when it happened, and uh, we implement it into our weekly training. Building up a strong presence on Yelp has created lots of opportunities for Il Canale. Alessandro sees Il Canale's collection of Yelp accolades as a big motivator to adapt and innovate. Being recognized on a national level for the work they do has given Il Canale the confidence to continue trying new things and elevating their offerings. We're always so supportive of the Yelp taking notice of our restaurant and with that, you know, the, the natural amount of reviews we get. So to be a family business and to consecutively after three years be on different top 100 Yelp lists, it's not something that we just take for granted and we, we let it go. We always want to keep doing better. You know, Il Canale five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago is not the Il Canale today. We're continuously evolving and continuously getting better, continuously increasing our standards. In 2022, we were top 40th on the top 100 places to be in the USA list. 2023, we were top 10 in the DC top 100 list. And in 2024, we were number 14 on the top 100 pizza spots in the USA. So to continuously get recognized, it's not something that we're just going to let slide. We want to, it sets our bar higher because we know the next year we need to do something better. That's part of our, you know, key to success is that we just don't want to settle for what's been given to us already. We want to continuously keep making people happy and keep offering additional things. And that concludes our episode. I hope you enjoyed it and were able to take a thing or two away to implement in your own life. Whether it's a new idea that you can bring back to your business or a fresh perspective on how to be a positive influence as a consumer. We share these stories to inspire and create more meaningful connections in your local community. This episode featured a conversation with Alessandro Ferruccio, the general manager and part of the family ownership team of Il Canale, and Sydney G, a Yelp elite and Yelp community manager living in D.C. Special thanks to Callie Morgan, who helped write this episode. To learn more about the story, head to yelp.com forward slash behind the review. And check out the guest details and episode takeaways. And don't forget to subscribe to the show on your favorite listening platform so you get an alert each Thursday that we drop a new episode. To claim your own Yelp business page and start engaging with consumers, visit business.yelp.com. Our theme song is performed by Ali Schwartz and produced by Robbie G of Messerol Sound.